All right, we have a, uh, a situation here. Uh, this docu color 260, uh, same with 240, uh, 250. What's going on here is that this um, printer is connected to the firing. Um, second here, it's connected to the firing. Uh, firing is at the back. But the problem here is that when we go to the computer, um, we're using a Fiery Command Center 5.2 version. When we add the uh, printer, if you can see here, add printer and search for a printer, um, the computer or the command station cannot locate the uh, the the printer so let's go back there let's go back to the printer and uh, let's change the setting um, so for us to change the network setting uh, we need to go to the admin um, screen and uh, let's press on this login and that should ask um, admin uh, login information and the uh, default uh, password uh, passcode is five one so one two three four five hit confirm and we want to go to the system settings we need to go here and um, come on uh, not there let's see here uh, system settings and then we scroll down and go to the network controller setting okay then press it again as you can see uh the um uh the looking at the number to here the tcp ip uh, get address is manual we want to change this to um change this to uh dhcp so hit that press that and save and now we uh, changed it um, then what we need to do is close it close close and we need to turn off the printer and allow that the printer wait for um, at least one minute for the printer to fully uh, turn off and at the back on your fiery we need to reset the fiery here all right one two three it's a few seconds that's eight seconds and that should be turned off and turn it on again not this one i'm talking about the uh, red button there at the back we'll give it some time uh for the uh fire it to turn on then we turn on the the printer all right and we need to wait for a few minutes once the printer and the fiery is fully connected your printer usually will print like this um confirming that the uh, the printer is fully connected to the uh, fiery by the way uh, this printer uh, prints uh, quality is really really good um, so let's go to the screen here all services you can see that the fiery is not connected to the uh, printer yet all right We'll just wait for uh, a few seconds here or one minute. Just give it some time for the fiery and the printer to connect. And once uh, it is connected, then we uh, check the settings if it's saved and we go back to the computer and see if we fixed 
the problem by the way uh, the same the same solution to the uh, Xerox uh, C5 50 570 um, you have to release the IP address um, if this happened when someone changed the setting of your network and you want to connect your printer to the network and you want to remotely control your printer using the uh, fiery uh, command station based on, on what I know uh, for DocuColor 250, 240, 260, and Xerox 570, 560, 550, uh, only works with uh, Fiery Command uh, Workstation um, 5.2, 5.3, and 5.5 version, but higher than that, the new version will not work. All right, so right now we see that we are connected and also we are getting confirmation here the the printer is fully connected. All right, so let's go to the the computer and try to locate the uh so we're here on command workstation. Let's uh try to search for the printer. Voila. All right, so we have the printer here um, and add this printer, connect and log in. And that should bring you to the, the screen. And let's see here if we can send a, uh, a print using this, um, using this uh, the command station wait a minute here it's not responding right now let's just wait for the printer to respond it should respond people give it a uh, few seconds <sighs> it's connected but it's trying to communicate. All right, here we go. So we add, uh, I'll just add uh, this file here, just one page, just for the sake of, for the sake of um, uh, demonstration here. So we have the file here and we, set, we hit print and the workstation is sending it to the printer. And as you can see, let's move here to the printer. That should uh, print. All right. Thank you for watching.